Just wanted to do a, a quick video on my take on a motorcycle GoPro helmet mount. So I've just recently wired up some cameras to my bike and they're sort of dash cam cameras. I've got one on the front, one on the back. Uh, and when you turn the ignition on, those cameras start recording. Turn the ignition off and, and they stop recording. And, and they're great and that's the system that I wanted. I wanted something that I get on my bike, have some recording and then if I uh, had a, an issue or an incident, then hopefully I've got that footage on the bike. Um, those cameras are fixed, uh, they're fixed in, in what they're looking at, so they're, they're, they're fixed forward, fixed backwards, um, so as long as it's in, in that those line of sight, I'm, I'm going to get it. Uh, the quality is not great, the solution was quite cheap, it was £30 for the, for the whole lot, um, but it does its job. If anyone's interested in that, uh, leave me a comment and I'll, uh, I'll do a video on that system. Um, but for the times that uh, I'm on a, a ride and it's a nice day and I'm going somewhere nice and I want to capture um, some quality video, then um, GoPro on the helmet is the way to go. So I've been looking around, uh, obviously you could get um, dedicated helmet cameras, um, but they're, you know, for a good one you're talking £100 plus, but it already had a GoPro so I wanted to make use of that. Um, previously, I've had a, a GoPro mount on the top of my helmet uh, and that sort of works but I, I didn't like how um, uh, the connector looked when you're not using the camera. It was quite obvious that you've got a, a, a mount on the top of your head um, and also uh, when you're riding at speed you can, you can feel it on, on the, the top of your helmet. Uh, with this helmet here that I'm using currently it's also got a ridge um, so having the central on top of the helmet wasn't uh, wasn't great. The other thing I looked at online is that um, some people have mounted them on the front uh, and they're using a product like uh, Sugru, so I've got some somewhere. Um, so Sugru is like a, a moldable um, clay uh, that you can you can you can mold it around this ridge and create like a, a flat surface that you can then stick your GoPro onto uh, and that works but again I wanted something that uh, when I wasn't using my GoPro on my helmet, which is the majority of the time, uh, I didn't want it to, to have something ugly uh, on my helmet. So what I went for in the end is um, attaching it to the side. So if you can see that, I've got a GoPro mount here. So this is a matte black helmet. So I sanded the, uh, the mount down, sprayed it matte black so it sort of blends in a little bit more. Uh, and having it at the side, uh, I think... Um, you don't notice it so much as on the top or having something right at the chin. So the solution I went for uh, is this basically. So there's my existing GoPro and I've put it on a long boom. I had to go for a long boom on this one because again as I get closer to here there's not a lot of space to, to fit this. So I had to go for a fairly long boom which isn't ideal because it, it makes it uh, a bit more flexible, a bit more prone to movement but it, it sort of works. So, if I want to use it, clips in, clips into that, like that, and then it sits there. So that's not in my line of sight, uh, it, it doesn't have as much uh, of an issue with the wind resistance like the one on the top does, uh, and it, 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 whatever I'm looking at, I know the camera is going to capture. And that, that works really well. Uh, the only other thing that I added was a, a safety tether. So just in case. So on this one, just in case. So the safety tether I'm putting around around the clip here. So on this helmet. I've then got the tether like that. So just in case the system fails and this comes off when I'm riding, then I'm not going to lose my, my expensive GoPro. The only other thing that I did is I swapped out. So as standard on a GoPro, you've got, you've got these type of connectors. So I've left that one in there, but I've changed all the other types to screw types. And the reason for that is, is just because if you don't, you've got like a connector sticking out here, a connector sticking out here, a connector sticking out here, and they're just they're just unsightly and ugly. So swapped them for screws, and then I've got 
one pivot here to move this boom in and out. Uh, I've got a, a pivot here to move it uh, to move it away or towards the helmet, and then there's another pivot uh, here, so I can tilt the camera like that or like that just to get it nice and straight. And that's my take on uh, a helmet GoPro mount. The only other thing I forgot to mention is I have added some rubber padding. I don't know if you can see that here. So just that if there is any movement, the rubber is going to hit the helmet and not uh, any of the plastic or the metal uh, screws and damage the helmet. And that's it. That's my take on a motorcycle GoPro helmet mount.